where do you see oil prices going? I do agree. Like, look, our price forecasts are for prices to head higher above $100 by year end. The challenge right now, the micro, the fundamentals for oil are strong. We are still going to be, the SPR, once it ends, we're still going to be drawing a lot of inventories. But the macro picture is very bearish with the stronger dollar being here as well. The pressure on emerging markets and the currencies is enormous. So I, I struggle to see how crude's going to go up in the near term until these macro headwinds are still in place. I want to talk about the demand side of the story a little deeper with these macro factors. We had a lot of banks, of course, uh, making their announcements last week. We've got the broad dollar strength, as you mentioned, but we've also got the China demand story. How are you looking at all these factors? You know, it's been fascinating just talking to all our Chinese uh, clients here that I think we came in uh, with a much more conservative outlook for China. And, you know, we've got a very gradual reopening after the 16th of October, but the real, like, real push towards growth after April next year, not really in the winter. Um, but the Chinese over here have been a lot more optimistic. It looks like the country is focused again on growth. Uh, ultimately, I mean, growth has been absolutely horrible right now with, with real estate in, in, in dire state. So I do find myself a little bit more optimistic about the Chinese demand situation. We've got demand growing by about 600,000 next year, year on year in China, just reversing the declines this year. But there are small things, some flights being reopened, uh, some just small reopenings here and there, suggesting that you know China could surprise us to the upside I still think it's going to be second half of next year than this year uh, but at least green shoots I would say yeah Hadley with a question 